Did you know that in Canada, there's a certain hierarchy order of visibility that you must have before you depart a controlled airport? For example, the first hierarchy on the list is the RVR, runway visual range. This is how far you can see down the runway at the threshold. Now, if you don't have the RVR, the next thing you must have is the ground visibility, and that is taken directly off the METAR. If you don't have the ground visibility, then next you can ask ATC for their visibility. So this is the ATC visibility. And then finally, you can use your own eyes as a pilot and determine the visibility from the pilot observed visibility, which obviously may not be the most accurate. Now let's look at a practical example. Let's say you were to depart Hamilton Airport off a runway 12. You can see that they have an RVR alpha sensor, which is the sensor that is right at the threshold of the runway. As long as that RVR shows 2,600 feet or above, you may depart. But let's take, for example, if you were to depart off runway 30 on the opposite end, you'll notice that there's no RVR sensor listed. So in that case, you can still depart as long as you have the ground visibility of a half station mile. And you can see here on the departure procedures page, it says for runway 30, you need a half mile visibility. Now keep in mind that the RVR we're looking for is for the runway we intend to use. It does not matter if your visibility of the runway is below minimums, but the other runways around the airport are above minimums. You still cannot use it. It must be for the intended runway that you plan to depart or land on.